Helen Hayes MacArthur, born Brown, October 10, 1900 March 17, 1993, was an American actress whose career spanned almost 80 years. She eventually garnered the nickname First Lady of American Theatre and was one of 12 people who have won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar and a Tony Award, an Agate. Hayes also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's highest civilian honor, from President Ronald Reagan in 1986. In 1988, she was awarded the National Medal of Arts, the annual Helen Hayes Awards, which have recognized excellence in professional theater in the greater Washington, D.C. area since 1984, are her namesake. In 1955 the former Fulton Theater on 46th Street in New York City's Broadway Theater District was renamed the Helen Hayes Theater. When that venue was torn down in 1982, the nearby Little Theater was renamed in her honor. Her sound film debut was The Sin of Maude Long Claudette, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. She followed it with starring roles in Aerosmith, with Myrna Loy, A Farewell to Arms, with actor Gary Cooper, whom Hayes admitted to finding extremely attractive, The White Sister, opposite Clark Gable, What Every Woman Knows, a reprise from her Broadway hit, and Vanessa, her love story. However, Hayes did not prefer that medium to the stage. Her last Broadway show was a 1970 revival of Harvey, in which she co-starred with James Stewart. She spent most of her last years writing and raising money for organizations that fight asthma. According to her daughter-in-law, H.B. MacArthur, Hayes took the most pride, however, in her philanthropic work with Helen Hayes Rehabilitation Hospital located in West Haver Straw, and why she was extremely proud of the strides the hospital made toward the rehabilitation of people with disabilities.